I've got my old Stetson. This dates around the end of the 1800s, maybe the beginning of the 1900s. It's uh, one of the original Stetsons. I don't have a hat band in the side. It belonged to uh, Put Putnam, an artist friend of mine. But if you notice, the uh, band around it is uh, oh, probably about an inch. And there's the ribbon. It's pretty well beat up. A couple of holes in it. Got dark stuff on it. It was thrown on in a movie that I was in. Kind of a film about a uh, well, it was a western. It was took place in a small western uh, reenactment town over in Nevada City, just uh, on the other side of the hill here. But uh, you can see how he could have uh, stuffed the. Uh, Monarch butterf butterfly in the hat band. Uh, anyway, I like my hat. A little irritated about the makeup they threw on the hat to make it look old, like they had to. All right, all right. It's time to get back on him. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the hat separate from uh, the figure. Now. It looks like a soft hat, kind of like mine. And it's because, it, you know, the more beaver you have in a hat, I think the more uh, soft it gets. Okay, I've got it trimmed, but it's less than the width that I want. But because it's got a curl all the way around it, I'm rolling out some clay. And uh, I'll put it right on the edge of the uh, rim. Believing it's going to work out. Clay. We got the uh, the hat on there. I'm going to bring down the hand just a little bit. Deform the hat rim to match the uh, there we go. 
right, I want that hat to stay there. So what I'm going to do is make a uh, impromptu staple to hold it on. And in place. It's going nowhere. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make braids. I'll do one braid and then I'll do the other one off camera. kind of hard to do because this finger is uh, numb. Not numb, but it's uh, tingly and so it makes it uncomfortable. I pinched a nerve about five months ago and it hasn't uh, quite gotten back to normal yet. It's better than it was, but uh, it's a bothersome thing. And literally I just uh, braid the hair. Now I'm going to cut it off right there because all I needed was a couple of uh, parts of the braid. This is a serrated edged tool and I'm going to try to put the feel of fur into this roll of clay by just using the serrated edge to give it texture. be hard to see because I can't keep my hand out of the way but I'm going to uh, put the ties the wrap or whatever they would call it 
that tied it to the uh, the braid. Okay, I'm going to work on the robe a little bit. I'll get the other braid uh, on there as soon as I get done with this. That's all I've got time for today. I'm going to uh, call it quits. I have to go someplace and uh, I'm just running out of time. Good night and uh, see you next time when we'll finish this up. And once I do finish this up, then I'm going to move back into my studio. All right, that's it. Happy sculpting.